Hola y bienvenidos a Line Your Lipstick. El pin de labio que tengo puesto para este video es by Pat McGrath and it's called Femme Bot. Welcome to Fancy Fee Friday! Yeah! You know what this title is all about and stay till the end of the video because I'm going to show you my number one favorite sneaker at this moment. Hit it bitches! I'm gonna have to keep my shade on because the sun is right there and that bitch is competing with me and we're not having that shit. I will just scratch myself. Starting backwards, the one I like the least is these by Michael Kors. When I first saw them, I was obsessed with them. I was like, oh my God, this is like the beginning of like the chunky sneaker trend. It was all over and it still is good because, you know, I wear my stuff forever and ever and ever. They had different colors and I opted for the white with the red and blue, but not because I was patriotic. <laughs> it was just because it was a summer thing and I wanted a bright color. The reason they're in last place is because I noticed that the sole is getting yellow on me. You're really starting to annoy me and I don't like that and I kind of don't know how to get rid of that yellow if you have any ideas let me know down below damn you I don't like this can't wait till I'm rich okay next sneaker is these by diesel I bought it for my birthday it was a gift they were on sale at the time they've been worn to death because at the back here is metal plate and it was at the bottom of the sneaker and you can see how worn and well loved these sneakers are they bring me so many memories i got these sneakers when i was first getting sick but i didn't know what was going on and i was so scared and my husband took me for my birthday downtown um, all the way to like the finance department we stood at a hotel and he wanted me just to kind of just escape well, now every time i look at it, it just makes me think of that but I love the color. These came in forest green too. I opted for the navy blue. Kind of matches my shirt. Love you. Oh my god, how fun, right? These are by AC Replay. I got them online on the website, but these are probably like 10 years old, give or take. And I love them. They also came in blue, but I felt like the blue was too much. I felt like the blue was too much. Pink is really understated, isn't it? When I first saw them, I'm like, oh my god, how fun are these for the summer? They're sneakers, they're comfortable. I love these. I still rock these all the time. These sneakers have gone through a lot. But how fun, right? How cool are these? These I was obsessed with at one point. These are by DKNY. And these might be actually probably the oldest in my collection. I would say these are 10 to 15 years old. I've had them a long time. I rock them to death. I have like this mesh going on right here. So these are actually summer shoes. These are like a New York City staple. I've rocked them all over the city. You ask any pedestrian out there, they're gonna be like, yes, I remember seeing her with those sneakers. How fun are these? Okay, I normally don't buy Nike sneakers. Not because I don't like the brand or anything like that. It's just they tend to be very sporty. Unless it's for a gym, right? So I saw these and I was like, what? These are by Nike? I got these, I think it was My Teresa online. This is also old. I wear this all the time, but when I wear white, I'm like extra careful. I'm like walking on my tiptoes outside in the street because if I get them dirty, then I'm gonna have to get somebody else dirty. They're fabulous and they're by Nike. I was like, what? Who knew your girl over here was such a sneaker head? You know, Daisy, because it's your sneaker. Next, over the knee sneakers, I would like to call them. These are by Michael Kors. Love them. They're leather. They're comfortable. They have like this metal plate in the back and they're still going strong. They're starting to peel a little bit on me, so it's worrying me a little bit. I rock these more in the colder months, like now that we're transitioning into fall. I've gone to bars with this, to birthday parties with this. I've just gone casually, like for brunch, for dinner. It doesn't matter. Like, I feel like they're just great for any occasion. When I first saw them, I was like, oh my God, they're so hot and they're so comfortable and their sneakers and they look very New York, right? Because you're a New York girl, always gets things that look very New York, right? There's like some things that you look at and you're like, that's so New York. I feel like this is so New York. <laughs> Next is these that you guys have probably seen if you're a fashion addict, an amazing supporter of styling your lipstick, me, Daisy. I have an unboxing video, which I will link up above or you can check it out down below. My description section, these are the Converse sneakers, the Motion High, and this is the first Converse in my collection i got this maybe like two weeks ago and i was like hot diggity done look at converse coming out with like some edgier stuff i was like look at you so much stuff that i have to buy what happened to my voice what happened to my voice scroll through my instagram because i always wear my outfits there you can see how i style it for inspiration my husband loved these so much that i ended up getting these for my husband for his birthday and you know what he said he said that the day he sees me wearing it, he's gonna go and sport his so that we could be twinning. <laughs> times that I would wear a certain outfit and all of a sudden he's wearing like the same colors, it's so funny. 
So we have like this inside joke now. So now he's like, the day that you're gonna wear it, I'm gonna bust out my sneakers. I'm <laughs> gonna kill him and he's gonna watch this. Okay, these have got to be my top two favorite sneakers in my collection. Are you ready? Sit down if you're not sitting down. Or stand up if you're already sitting down. Are you ready? They're so fucking busted. I know, but this is why I don't get white because look, it hurts me to see my babies like this. This is by MM6, an indie designer brand. These were on sale for $200 at the time, so I snagged it with the quickness and walked out of the store and didn't even pay. Not true. I love these. Look how cool they are. They're like cloth here, and then this ties around, and it has like this edginess. Like, this just brings me back to like a little bit of Rick Owen. Like, I love it. It's just so unique, but god damn, the color kills me. Because the first day I wore it, it was already dirty. Mind you, I'm very careful, like as careful as you can be, but like, damn, you give me so much problems. You're like the Latino boyfriend that's just always like cheating on you and you just want to deck him. But something about him just keeps luring you back, right? This just needs a shower, like a good shower. Hold on to your toupee. Ah! Hold on to your toupee because this is the number one in my collection, bitches. These are the newest from the MM6 brand. I was very hesitant at first because here you go with the bottom, the sole. I don't know what compelled them to do it in that material because that material gets scratched so fast and look, it's hard to get them off. But I'm going to take care of my babies. Don't you worry about a tang. It's going to be dealt with. But look how fat this is. Ah, I wear this year round. Doesn't matter what type of weather we're in. But because they are like a little, like new book, like velvety, I tend to kind of reserve them a little bit more for the cooler weather like now for fall and I love them the color is exceptional I mean this aqua color with this green and the black and the white I'm like god damn take it damn color me happy these are so adorable and they're just so fashion forward and stylish and like the type of sneakers that I like they just have panache you have made it to my number one spot because you are just one are you a girl boy well uh, either way you're handsome you're very handsome or you're very beautiful thumbs up or thumbs down subscribe today to enter the land of make-believe and fantasies full of sparkles what's new what's hot what's trendy in the fashion 